The environment here in Southeast Michigan is our future. It's our economic future. It's our recreational future. It's the future for our children. 20% of the freshwater, surface freshwater in the world is right here, right at our doorstep. When we built up our neighborhoods and our communities and our industries, at first we thought water was a place to dump everything. When I was a kid growing up, we never thought of it as an asset, something where we could go fish and swim and kayak and canoe. Now we understand those are very valued things. So we need to clean up those rivers and those waterways so that they're useful in our neighborhoods. We have to be able to manage our wastewater, wet weather, dry weather, all kinds of weather, to make sure that we have a clean environment for tomorrow. Wastewater Master Plan is like a recipe. Uh, it gives us each of the ingredients and instructions of how we're going to go forward to make sure that we get what we expect at the end. And so each one of those ingredients and those elements of the plan are important. Things like public safety, environmental stewardship, asset renewals, even economic prosperity. And I know that sounds uh, like a far-fetched piece of this, but the fact of the matter is it's important in Michigan that we're protecting our waterways uh, because tourism is important in Michigan and we want to be able to enjoy our environment. At the very core of the Wastewater Master Plan is this recognition that we're really part of a larger community of government services and of things we need to do to make sure the quality of life in this region is great. When you put a master plan together, it can be done very narrowly, it can be done very broadly. So we chose this comprehensive regional approach and in that approach, uh, the member partner involvement was important. And it is really fundamental to how here at GLWA we work. We work in collaboration with our member partners. When you think about the wastewater system, it doesn't start and stop at a municipal boundary. The pipes don't know the boundaries. So we got to operate and function uh, with the system in mind, a regional system where everyone's ideas are heard, where inclusion is important. We can't get to the end of the master plan and have just met the needs of a portion of the system. We need to meet the needs of the whole region. So then the real work begins, you know, rolling up our sleeves and figuring out what it is that we want to make sure that we accomplish in the plan. In any kind of planning document, you want to start with a desired outcome. The outcomes bring us back together and get us focused on what it is we're trying to accomplish. First and foremost is protect public health. Next, we have to protect the environment. Then we want to provide reliable quality service so people have confidence in the system. And then we want to optimize costs. We want to make sure that we're doing the best we can to use our money efficiently toward providing these other outcomes. And lastly, we want to support economic prosperity, right? Because at the end of the day, if we're prosperous, we can afford to invest in this system and take care of it, and we have a good quality of life. All of those things are interconnected. You can't have one without the other four. It's that simple. Protecting public health and safety is the number one outcome that we have. We are stewards of assets that are underground, and it's important that we make sure that those assets deliver what they're supposed to deliver. We don't want wastewater ending up in places that it shouldn't be, like basements or in the environment where the public can come into contact with it. Additionally, we want to make sure that those assets don't have uh, failures prematurely and have interruption of service that also can create problems. So that is always uh, and unequivocally the number one priority that we have. There's two primary um, things that can happen in a sanitary sewer system or a combined sewer system that directly impact health and safety of the community. Uh, the first one would be a sanitary sewer overflow. And in that case, a lot of times uh, sewage can discharge on onto the ground or onto the surface. The other health concern would be if sewage uh, either combined or sanitary back up into somebody's basement. Obviously sewage in somebody's basement is a uh, direct health concern. Another important outcome is preserving the environment and our natural resources. 
it's, it's obvious that we need to treat wastewater and we need to return it to the environment as clean or cleaner than uh, when it was taken from the environment as source water. Here in Michigan, we have a lot of recreation, we have a lot of tourism, and people live here because they wanna be able to be in the water and around the water. And so it's very important that what we, what we discharge back to the environment uh, is as clean as it can possibly be. So we strive to surpass regulatory standards but as we go forward and we look in the planning, those could change in the future. So we need to make sure that we're paying attention to what those might be. One of the unique things the Wastewater Master Plan and the Great Lakes Water Authority is putting in place is monitoring areas across all our local rivers to see if our efforts are effective. Right now, if you go test the water, in many places, the water is high in bacteria, is a threat to public health, and it is a threat because animals and wildlife can't live in an environment that doesn't have enough oxygen in the water or if the water isn't clean enough. Another important outcome that we have is maintaining uh, reliable and high quality service. Uh, it's important for the people that use our services to know that they're going to be there when they need them, to be able to uh, turn on their tap, wash their clothes, do what they do in their homes, and not think twice about the fact that those services will be there and they will be high quality. It's important for us to make sure that we have the right people doing the right job 24-7 to provide service to the people in these communities that we serve. We have a one water concept. You know, we have a very large regional system that has been built over a hundred plus years, which means that we have to understand why the system was built the way it was, how is it currently performing and what do we need it to do? And there's a lot of different inputs into that decision and analysis. So having the regional players at the table will lead to a better project at the end. Another important outcome that we have for the master plan is to assure value for the investments that we're making. The wastewater system is an asset intensive system. Lots of pipes, lots of pumps, lots of treatment works. It's important for us to make sure that the money that we spend investing in these assets to ensure that they are reliably operating is invested wisely. And so instead of saying, we're just gonna replace something uh, with what we have, we say, what's next? What's best? What are the best investments for us to make? Because the money is limited, uh, people have a lot of pressures to pay bills, and we wanna make sure that that dollar that goes toward the sewer system is spent wisely. Always fun to talk about building new facilities and things that are going to be sparkly and new and take care of new problems, but you have to take care of what you already have. So uh, there's a process called asset management where you look at what you already have, you look at what you need to further invest on an ongoing basis, and you basically just have to take care of your existing systems to make sure that they continue to operate well. So another important outcome that we have is contributing to economic prosperity. Uh, we serve about 30% of the state of Michigan, and these communities rely on our service to be uh, something that is unquestionable. At the core of economic prosperity here in Michigan is our recreation. And we have lakes and streams, rivers. We wanna be able to swim and fish and boat. And those waters need to be clean in order for us to do that. We need to have confidence in the, uh, the quality of that water so that we can enjoy it. The people in Southeast Michigan, we all live in our houses or apartments or wherever we live. We're all paying a share of taking care of this, and we expect when we use water that it's handled appropriately. So as a ratepayer, you wanna make sure that your government and your region and your water authority is doing all these things in the best possible way that's gonna create the lowest cost for us to take care of this system and promote the greatest amount of economic prosperity and also the cleanest community that we can have. Being a center of the Great Lakes, I think we feel even a more responsible uh, effort is needed by us to protect the Great Lakes. And that's what I think Michiganders take great pride in trying to do. Pollution control isn't just about the wastewater master plan. It's about what we all do and how we all think about what it is we value and how, how we can play a role in protecting it. Detroit and Southeast Michigan are way ahead of other cities in the country on wet weather control. We already have a very high level of control. 
So we're working to improve that, and that is important to us in the master plan. So by working together, we can continue to solve the problems that we still have in front of us. We eliminate beach closings. We can eliminate the public health threat. We can make sure our children are safe when they go down next to a river and play in it like I did as a kid. I want my kids to live here, which they do. I want my grandkids to grow up here and to want to stay here because the water is clean, because it's a safe place to live, because, because you can go out and recreate. In order to do that, the wastewater master plan is looking into the future saying, what is it we have to do to protect these rivers and lakes so we can use them in that way and take care of it? Just like you take care of your own car, your own house, or anything else that you value, it's no different. It's important to our region that this plan be done well and be executed well. And I think it's hard to understand how something in a large utility like this actually affects an individual person. It's important to you, it's important to us as, as residents in the state in Southeast Michigan, for us to have these clean waterways and to make sure that every dollar that's spent is spent wisely. We wanna have that, not just now, but for generations to come.